Hello, and welcome to the WinDriver USB demo. By using WinDriver, you have the ability to develop a custom USB driver, regardless of your silicon vendor, within minutes of work. In addition, WinDriver APIs are cross-platform compatible between various operating systems, such as Windows, Linux, Linux ARM, and Mac OS. For this demo, we will be using Windows 11. Let me show you how it's done. To start, let's open the WinDriver GUI. To begin a new project, click on the New Host Driver Project button. WinDriver automatically detects all plug-and-play devices attached to the machine. The first step is to select the device for the intended driver that is to be developed. Choose a name for your project. Make sure to install the INF file in order to be able to utilize the full functionality of your hardware. You may need to enable test mode on your operating system. By clicking on the Generate INF File button, it is possible to view and modify the device's information and allow WinDriver to install the INF file automatically by checking the appropriate box. All the hardware's resources can now be accessed to make sure it's working properly before moving on to the code generation. Note that the information is hardware specific, so it's advisable to ensure that all the device's data matches the hardware specifications. Here's how it's done. If your device has alternate settings, you can easily change between them using the menu on the left. You can also reset your device by pressing the Reset Device button. Listening to pipes is possible by highlighting a listenable pipe and pressing the Listen to Pipe button. The output from the pipe will be shown in the information panel at the bottom of the screen. You can stop listening to the pipe by pressing the Stop Listening button. After verifying that the device is working correctly, you can proceed to the code generation. WinDriver supports code generation for a wide range of development environments and languages. You can easily generate a skeletal code in C, C++, C Sharp.net, Visual Basic.net, Java, and Python. For the purpose of our demonstration, let's generate a Python code. You will see a list of all the files created for the project. Before running the compiled app from console mode, let's close the driver wizard GUI. Now we can continue communicating with the hardware. Note that the device has been identified and can be accessed using this diagnostic utility menu. The console application offers the same hardware access options as the GUI and even more functionality. For example, we can listen to a pipe by choosing option 4, read write from pipes, then option 3, listen to pipe, and input the number of the pipe we want to listen to. We will then start receiving output from the pipe. That's it for our demonstration. We can now close the application. The driver code that has been generated contains APIs that can be used to implement the USB functionality. These are defined and documented in the header file and in our detailed user manual. Also, if you decide to support other operating systems, the APIs will allow you to easily port the drivers to Linux, Linux ARM, and Mac OS. From here on, you have a basic driver which can be used as a foundation for a new application or can be integrated into an existing one. Thank you for watching. Feel free to download a fully featured trial version of WinDriver from our website. If you have any questions, please contact our sales and support team.